and dangerous drugs taken off the street. We are breaking down Operation Manor Mayhem. Plus, how a game-changing piece of technology led to a killer's conviction. All this and more coming up on this episode of Live with LCSO. Happy Friday, Lee County. I'm Public Information Officer Jesse Santero. And I'm Nestor Montoya. When Sheriff Carmine Marcino says zero tolerance, he means it. And for the past two weeks, he's deployed assets to Pine Manor to continue cleaning up the streets of crime. Our tactical narcotics team saturated the neighborhood, all part of Operation Manor Mayhem. Within the two-week period, detectives made 11 arrests and removed lots of dangerous drugs and guns from the street. Just take a look at all of it. Crack cocaine, fentanyl, meth, MDMA, oxycodone. This is stuff that will kill you, what Sheriff Marcino often says people rob and kill for. But now, that's all locked away just like these 11 suspects who face narcotic-related felonies. Sheriff Carmen Marcino prides himself in making sure that we lead the way with the latest and greatest technology. Last year, we acquired the Andy machine. This rapid DNA testing machine is a game changer and can generate results in as little as 90 minutes. It's currently housed in our new forensics wing, which was generously donated, as was the Andy machine, by Dr. Carol Ray Culleton. Well, it turns out, thanks to this piece of technology and our amazing detectives, the suspect was identified as Stanley Brown. If you've been following our page over the last year, then you may remember Sheriff Marcino announcing a homicide back in June that occurred in Benita Springs. The then 61-year-old murdered his roommate. This case started with an unidentified victim with very little evidence. Within 32 hours, my dedicated major crime detectives and crime scene technicians were able to identify the victim, locate all pertinent evidence, and apprehend the suspect to close this case with an arrest. Almost a year after this press conference, and Brown accepted a plea for second degree murder. He was sentenced to 246 months in prison, or 20 and a half years. This week, our agency participated in an awareness event for human and sex trafficking at the Veterans Park in Lehigh Acres. About 80 people attended this informative event, and LCSO's crime prevention specialist gave tips to all in attendance. Our ice cream response team paid a visit, and there was even on-site fingerprinting offered at no charge. Thanks for watching this episode of Live with LCSO. Be sure to follow our social media for all of Lee County Sheriff's Office content.